Hi, my name is Steve Yen, and I'm a co-founder of Couchbase. The title of this presentation is called Why Couchbase? And it came about because I was recently talking to a group of CIOs and CTOs and started off by describing Couchbase as, uh, in my humble opinion, the most important database software that most of you probably have never heard of before or don't know enough about yet. Now, by database software, I think of Oracle, I think of Postgres, MySQL, I think of MongoDB, but I think Couchbase is better. So, before we delve uh, too deep, I figured we ought to start at the top. And let me just note what an amazing, jaw-dropping, incredible year that we have been living through this year. We often say the world is changing, but this year, this change has been put on fast forward. It's been amped up to 11. We at Couchbase over the years have talked about things like digital transformation, as have many companies. But this year, it's just been accelerated, like it's been on afterburners. My kids are now back to school, so that means that they are now camping out every day at the kitchen table. Uh, this would have been inconceivable to me just a few months back. Things like telemedicine or telehealth, that was always a thing of the future, a thing that was coming. But there's been all these, like, for example, security challenges and insurance issues and all these roadblocks that were in the way of actual telemedicine, of actual telehealth. And now, boom, it's here. Zoom calls and FaceTiming with the doctor. The doctor, it's like a 2020, right? This very conference or event that we are in, uh, normally it'd be a reason to get together, to shake hands and enjoy a cup of hotel coffee or a hotel blueberry muffins together, no longer. So now there's been all this change. The world has been in so much change. It, it puts a lot of stress, a lot of stresses on people, on businesses. And there's been an acceleration of who is going to be a winner and who is going to be a loser in this world. And the demands on IT and on IT folks and on IT systems, my God, it's all been accelerated. And the key question that you might ask yourself is like, are the mission critical technologies of your enterprise, are they ready? Because what you cannot afford is if your competitors can adapt to this accelerated world and you can't adapt, if they can execute and embrace this world of accelerated change and you can't, then you've been out executed. Especially the key question is, can your database infrastructure keep up? Now, the database, database infrastructure, it's often the most critical. It's often the most calcified, the most fossilized part of the enterprise technology stack. And you should ask yourself, is it holding you is your database infrastructure, is it holding you and your company back from executing faster, from embracing this world of accelerated change? Now, for some folks, for some customers, they have been adopting a next generation database, Couchbase, for their business critical needs. And this is just showing a small subset of our customers where we're in use across many industries from three of the top 10 retailers and e-commerce companies from three of the top three top travel and hospitality companies and financial services and healthcare and telcos and med media and gaming and on and on. Why have these leading enterprises chosen Couchbase? Like, it's because the technology's leader, leaders there at those companies and the architects and the developers, they saw a future where they needed to have competitive advantage and they saw that they needed to build a next generation of mission critical database applications with system architectures that cover several factors and these systems they need to be distri distributed decentralized and they need the ability to deploy across potentially multiple cloud vendors and cloud zones and cloud regions and all the data that needs to flow all the way out to the edge, all the way out to mobile devices and mobile footprints. And then data needs to flow back in again to the central core. 
and the systems need to be resilient, more so than ever, and robust and highly available for the business and always on. Now, so far in what I've been describing, I can imagine doing these first few bullet items so far with existing relational database technologies. I can imagine setting up Oracle and hooking them up in some kind of topologies of where there's data replication streams or data gateways, and it would be a huge, huge pain in the ass, but it'd be possible. You could get enough like hot standbys and the disaster recovery setups, and you'd be able to achieve some level of high availability. But in these last two bullet items of high performance and agility and flexi flexibility to change, this is where the wheels start coming off of the RDBMS way of doing things. Now, what do I mean by high performance? What I mean is that for our customers, it is the raw, the raw, unadulterated, business critical, live, online, internet scale OLTP performance. This is about raw horsepower where millions of visitors might be hitting your website or your app servers and looking for the latest information and trying to form transactions, tens of thousands of requests per second to millions of requests per second, from LinkedIn, to Tesco, to Amadeus. These companies are running tier one systems with the highest demands of raw performance, all powered by Couchbase. So that's performance as a key differentiator. The next thing I'd like to talk about is one of my favorite differentiators, and that is the ability for Couchbase to allow your teams to be agile and to be flexible to rapid change. And what do we mean by this kind of agility, right? Here's a simplified um, technology stack diagram. You got your web app server where it's talking to a single database and the scale this out is relatively simple, right? If you've got more load, just add more web app servers here along the top. They're all pointed at the same database and everything, everything is good, right? Easy to scale out. But before you know it, the database itself be starts becoming the bottleneck. How can you scale out an RDBMS system here? It's super difficult. In contrast, of course, Couchbase, it's easy to add more nodes, scale out commodity, uh, you know, nodes that you just add more and hit rebalance and the system keeps on working. You know, Couchbase is great for this kind of scenario. What do we mean by being agile though across version and versions of your application? When you're on version X and you need to move to version X plus one, you can imagine everything starts at, you know, version V1 and the, you know, the business does not stop. The business guys, they ask for more features. There are more improvements that are needed, more opportunities. So you start releasing V2 of your software. And how do you get that thing rolled out? It's pretty simple. We do this like every week, right? You know, you roll out V2, blue green deployments, start rolling out V2 across your web application servers and time step two, you know, you're finally done rolling out V2 to all your app servers. And now you double check everything, your teams like, you know, cross off their checklist. Everything looks good. Now you could say we might need to take downtime, a short window, who knows, maybe it's a long window. And you can upgrade the database, the database schema to V2. So far, this is a pretty straightforward, simplistic set of, or description of like how a blue green deployment works. And you could do this with relational databases, right? And it's a relatively simple, straightforward, like uh, New Newtonian view of the world. But when you add more dimensions, like, you know, not only just across time, but across space where there are multiple databases involved. And here I have drawn um, so innocently here a replication stream as a very simple arrow from the left-hand side to the right-hand side. Maybe the west-hand side, uh, the left-hand side represents like the West Coast cluster and the right-hand side represents like an East Coast deployment. And setting up this replication stream in the RWMS land can be a pain in the ass. There's so many things that can go wrong. In contrast, of course, with Couchbase, this kind of setup is really easy. Like it's cross data center replication. It's just built in as part of the product, right? So as we move across the time steps here and we start deploying at time step one, start rolling out V2 across the West Coast application servers and get the V2. And finally we get to step V3, where the schema changes on the West Coast side, you know what's gonna happen. The East Coast side, it's suddenly, this replication stream, it's gonna break. And this is especially bad 
in cases where the business requires the East Coast to be live and untouched and don't don't break the East Coast. It might be in live prime time hours where you're not allowed to touch the East Coast. Suddenly with a broken replication stream, this is because of a fundamental thing of the relational database technology world of the schema. The hard shackles of the schema says, means things like, you know, error, insert into table. Error, insert into table that does not exist. Error, insert into column that does not exist. You know, this is like the, the case with even just a relatively straightforward two databases. But in the real world, with the enterprises that use Couchbase, like the reality world is like much more complicated. You not only have like, you know, for example, a centralized uh, headquarters or a main cloud deployment that is like, you know, pushing out data to out to the edge, to distribution centers, to retail locations, to different um, locations out there on the edge. And then finally to mobile devices held by store associates or to like, you know, vehicle delivery networks, or as soon as you start upgrading a thing to V2, that same level of error, of brokenness, of broken replication streams is just right there. And it gets worse as you have potentially multi-master bi-directional setups, you know, from the West Coast, the East Coast. Doing multi-master with relational databases is already like, like super difficult to even think about, but then broken, 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 as soon as you upgrade stuff from the V2. This is why we heard from our customers that adopted Couchbase before they had Couchbase. They would say, the data before Couchbase, the data did not flow in the phase of change. There were multiple nine hour planned downtime, weekend downtimes just for one database upgrade. Never again. In contrast with Couchbase, of course, we feel like we bring a set of features and design principles that allow your teams to surmount this and actually excel in this kind of world where, let's talk about these things in terms of agility and scale out and scale anywhere as a document database of SQL++. In terms of scale out, Couchbase is a cluster database. You could just add more nodes. If the data is automatically sharded, it's simple to rebalance the data across those nodes that are coming into the cluster or leaving the cluster, all with you know, easy to configure replication. And each node in itself is a high performance engine that can handle millions of ops per second. To scale out to multiple millions of ops per second, just add more nodes, super simple. With scale out anywhere, Couchbase runs on hybrid cloud, on the multi-cloud, if you wanna run on-premise, done. Replication between these multiple clusters in terms of like you know cross data center replication, that is part of the product. If you chose, if you've chosen Re Kubernetes as an infrastructure platform, Couchbase runs on Kubernetes. We were one of the first databases to adopt Kubernetes autonomous operators. In terms of mobile and synchronizing out to edge devices and flowing data all the way out to mobile iOS or Android devices and like getting the data synchronized and flowing back in, that's part of our product suite. In terms of a document database, Couchbase from early on embraced JSON, where your application teams and your applications are generating JSON, you're ingesting JSON. And so we have added advanced JSON operations into the core database, so we could slice and dice subsets of documents very easily at high, high performance and be able to respond to JSON mutations and changes in documents reactively you know, and through our new eventing features. And as a database, we have embraced SQL, what we call SQL for JSON or SQL++ and our variation of it, which we call Nickel. So it allows your teams to have the familiarity of SQL. So you could slice and dice nested JSON data, you know, have transactions, get into analytics with all different kinds of indexing, all as part of the product. This allows a higher level of design patterns for you and your teams to get into this thing that we call distributed agile data management. This is a thing that is now possible. Let's just touch upon what this means. Two big themes, for example, in terms of distributed agile data management. You could think of JSON from the past. And the second thing, which is a little bit more mind blowing for people is like you could start thinking about JSON from the future. What do I mean by these things? So. One of the promises of a document database is of course, like if you have a whole bunch of documents, millions or billions of documents in the database, in the database cluster, 
and the data schema changes, you don't need to go and you know, alter schema. You can leave all those old JSON documents untouched. Leave them, leave them as is in the database as you wish. If you want to, you can lazily upgrade them at your will. You can decide to take downtime to upgrade them. You can decide to say, oh, we're going to upgrade them only on demand as needed. If there's a retrieval of a certain document, right then and there on demand, we will upgrade that document to the latest schema and save it back down again. The control is now in your hands, right? In terms of like how you want to do this and handle JSON documents from the past. In terms of JSON from the future though, this is a new thing that now is a possibility and something that your teams now have an extra angle to consider and think about. How do you gracefully expect and handle JSON that comes from the future? Take this diagram, for example, that you, you saw before where you've upgraded the West Coast cluster to V2 of your application and your schema, right? And then if you haven't turned off the replication stream, if you haven't turned off XDCR, Couchbase will dutifully start replicating documents, V2 documents, over to the East Coast side. But the East Coast side, the blue side, is still running V1. From V1's point of view, there are JSON documents coming from a future version, from a higher version, a JSON document from the future. You had to carefully then, when you were writing V1, realize this, right? And say, well, what are the techniques? How do we actually handle documents from the future? Simple things like, for example, and this is stuff that we talk to our customers all the time where, um, for example, you have to be able to handle as on V1, if you retrieve a document from the database and it, you're, I don't know, you're writing in Java and you deserialize that document into a Java class, or uh, you know, unmarshal that document into a Java class. Uh, if you're not careful, um, that document that you're unmarshaling might have actually come from V2. So there might be, for example, additional fields or additional information in that JSON document where when you deserialize it into a Java class, if you're not careful, you might have lost information. And then if you reserialize and save it back down, you've now saved that document in V2 format and you have lost whatever fields that came from V, uh, sorry, you have lost whatever fields that came from V2 because you saved it only as a V1 document. You did not carry along the fields that came from the future. So a menu of different like techniques like this are like what you and your teams now need to start thinking about. Put another way in terms of like, you know, this is like techniques that are higher level. These are techniques that are like, um, similar to a third normal form or fourth normal form. These are techniques that are not in the database core engine itself. They're not part of the database server. They're part of how you use the database server, right? Fake concepts like higher level concepts like third normal form, fourth normal form, uh, any relational modeling or star schema, snowflake schema. Those are concepts or design patterns of, of how you use the database. Similarly, these kind of things of distributed agile data man, at distributed agile data management are about how you use a next generation database like Couchbase so that you get the agility, so you get the scale out and scale anywhere and document database that embraces JSON. You get the benefits of SQL that embraces JSON. Distributed agile data management is one of the key things that I'm super excited about. And Part of the reason why, why the world is now embracing things like this accelerated change for new technologies and new approaches like Couchbase. If you'd like to learn more, we'd love to share. I'd love to be able to tell you the stories of like how these leading Fortune 500 enterprises and startups and others are using Couchbase to embrace this new world of the accelerated change. I'd love to hear your stories. Like what are the problems or challenges that you are running into? We'd love to talk more about this and we'll meet you all in the virtual hallways here at the conference. Thank you for listening, everybody. Um, cheers.